Hello everyone, Dylan here, and the rotation of Throwback Thursday leads us to a Bonacle review, and today's of which is on three of the Baraki from 2007. So on the front of each canister, see picture of the set in action, see Bonacle logo, Baraki logo, and the name of the set, and age group, set number, name, amount of pieces, and also Lego logo, Bonacle.com. But whereas, uh, for each canister of which these that the actually the bottom part is the lid. There's a pop off feature like the Nika, of course. But, and also see it upside down, of which kind of like the Rakshi did. And as for the rest of which it was all clear, kind of like also like the Rakshi and Balrox, but it's in trans blue, so you can kind of see the contents inside when you were buying them in the stores, or if you bought this brand new somewhere. And you'll see a couple of cracks and a few bubbles around. So you'll get kind of like blocks or rocks. And then the top part is a large crack, of course. And if you look on the back of each one, then you see them in a different pose, and Bonko logo, Brocky logo again, and also, each of the Kanoka Club points codes is kind of odd how they were still calling them Kanoka Club, even though Kanoka discs were being weren't being used anymore. And on the size, the other five Rocky and how to put them into canister and the Lego logo and all the various warnings and the barcode and all. But also, with them is still have the stackability kind of feature to obviously. Make it easy to store and also to ship them out, of course. But as for Mantex in particular, is that I've heard that in a couple of videos that some people, that one person did get Mantax with a blue, dark blue base and Man and Tacodox with a black base. Uh, kind of interesting how that is, but whatever. And now on to the manuals. On the front of each one, same picture as on the front, and also, but it's like put on sideways, so and so it has to be like that rather than like that. So it's like this rather than like this. And then background, which is of course more Yui, of course. But on the back, add for the Bongo Heroes game, which is quite enjoyable, but. Uh, many people complained that it didn't much follow the storyline, of course, but and also the Bonk website and, and after Lego Club and uh, Shop at Home after all the Baraki and Squid Ammo and, and as you'll see in this review I have replaced some of the squids with that and the pieces of each canister and then also, how to shoot the squid launch, of course, and yeah. First, which for the main cover one of all, flagship character, Kalma. That is, as you see, his color scheme of mostly red, but, but with some black mixed in, kind of cool. And as for the feet, which are quite like just the Tohoradika feet, but with these things off to the side, which, although in the Glatorian line, Malum had that as uh, shoulder plates, and then have Rachi limb, and then also the get not just four, but six of these unique armor pieces, which have been, did get used in very few other sets in different colors, of course. And his uh, main body is, of course, a Paraka body. And then, as for the arms of which, quite the same. It also has what some one called a commander thing, where it's shoulder armor and then arm armor. And then one hand that le leads to the squid launch, which I'll show in a minute. And also one hand of which has two of the tentacles, which did get reused a couple of times, of course, but these are in orange. 
probably, and my good guess is it's probably to be like a like tentacle version of Tomabata's flame sword, of course. And as for the head part, which each Baraki does have specific head pieces, but also of what was first introduced with these are the odd eyeball pieces, which are still carried on to this day, used as like various things in Lego like, systems acts, of course. And also with some of them, he did have extra things to like put teeth onto, whereas Kalma, Elak, and Predak all had blue, but Mantax and two others had red to, of course, help differentiate them, of course. And also with each Baraki, you get these little things that you can open and close, mandible, like mandibles. And if look from the back is nothing much, but for Kalmas, it's where you store the regular squids, but oftentimes they kind of broke apart over time, and I have replaced it with the squid ammo squid. And well, and I'm not sure why they were usually in this odd blue color when, when in other sets they were in like regular uh, yellow and orange. But yeah. Oh, and also how to launch it is you can do it either with him holding it or just on your finger. And it does shoot well. Whereas oftentimes some people kind of hate it because it just went down right away. And uh, let me show it one more time. There. That's the other kind of downfall of it. Get stuck in it, or it just falls down right away. And now again. Oh, don't know if you saw that. Well, you get it that. And that's about it for Kalma. And now on to Vantax. Which, as for his legs, which are mostly blocky legs, and also the Paraka armor and the, with red spike, spikes coming out of it. And also, he was the first to introduce these foot pieces, used with, also used with Karzani and uh, uh, Fantoka Liwa, of course. And as for and the arms, which quite just about like the Paraka arm arrangement, where one is a Metru limb, but his is a uh, Rachi limb. Although I think he could have been better if they were both Rachi limbs. But whatever. But and the arms, I think, should have had some ar of the same armor pieces to that, so we make them a little more bulky. And on the back of the arms are the mini Paraka spines from the playset. And whereas with each Baraki, names kind of play off as sea creatures, like Mantax of which is like a manta ray, and Kalmas is like squid, Kalamari. And as for the top part, of it, so the chest, or the main body is like comprised of an Anika torso with the Rakshi back piece that holds this mini tail from the old Lego dinosaur lines, of course. And the headpiece, which was often reused in the playset, and also the same feature. And you may have noticed that I'm missing one of the spikes, but that's... I do have some spares, but I'll add that later. But And the shoulder plates, which are these big, large pieces, also used with uh, Carpar's uh, chest plate, and also later on Karzani's and Malum's chest plates. And also it's where he stores his squids on too, and yeah. 
and that is it for Mantax. And now lastly, Elac or Elac, yeah. Okay. As for E which is probably the most unique to them. And as for the legs it comprise of metrilims with the Paraka Zactan's legs and also you might notice that why I have these Nika armor pieces that's kind of my only modification but because I had a few extra pieces and looks kind of bare without any you know and his uh, body is comprised with two uh, rock Vaki uh, waist pieces and also has like technic beam holding them together and I may have noticed about how there's a bit of odd glue on these as being or kind of crackle on it is that's because as oftentimes with sets with bright lime green pieces they kind of break apart easily but, but although at the time I just didn't know about bricklink until I as I do now of course and anyways, as for the lower arms comprised of rocky limbs, or rocky limbs, but put on the forward way when they, I think they should be much better put in the other way. And he would first use these claw pieces, kind of like uh, New Peru and Nika's claws, but like really long. And also, so holds both his squids onto it. And the other one, which is like put down sideways and has the squid launcher on it. And it's for the head, also used as Karzani's hands. And of course, also does have blue uh, eye pieces and it's kind of like multicolored. And then these little spikies coming off it. And also it does have the same mandible feature. And from the back, has these large spines, which also used as Gadunka's uh, or Gadunka's eye uh, uh, teeth and also things in other themes, of course. But, and of course, on Nocturne, there was the cool glow in the dark ones, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict. So, overall, these, I think, are uh, pretty cool sets of, or really pretty cool sets of 2007. So, like, these are which first time of not having clone sets, which, of course, made them a bit more collectible for many, of course. And also, they did provide plenty of new mocking pieces, as for most of you mockers, of course. Although... A couple of which didn't have didn't have armor all over, but although you can kind of do that with your own mocking pieces, of course, and and of course the squid launchers, which they reuse with other sets, but although although they do kind of sometimes work out well until with the thornax launchers, obviously, and oh, also with mantax have these like cool clock pieces that you can pinch together of course and well if you still have these sets from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these then i'd say truly go ahead and get them like ebay bricklink whatever and that's about it with this video and thanks for watching and please subscribe